Parents are supposed to be people children can lean on and look to for guidance. Unfortunately, many parents say things that are emotionally harmful and can have lasting psychological effects on their children. Just over a decade ago the specific number of children living under such environment in the U.S. was approximately 55,000. It's an even bigger problem when we consider that young children, who have no one to compare their experience with often think the way their parents behave towards them is normal. So if they have toxic parents, they might not know. Still, the mental and emotional damages from toxic parents are very real. Even if the parents don't intend to cause harm, it doesn't change the fact that children can be affected by a little toxic traits in a very big way. In our continuation of the video, 10 negative phrases you should never say to your children. We now turn to the issue of how your words can impact your child in a positive way. The way you nurture your children can influence their mental and emotional development. If you're wondering what to say to your children, here are seven phrases children need to hear from their parents. Number one, I like how you, did your child do something that you want to praise? Saying statements like, I'm proud of you, or you're a smart kid can sound like meaningless phrases if repeated frequently having no real effects. Instead, using statements that focuses on how they achieve their accomplishment can be more beneficial and longer lasting. Just be more specific with your praises by saying, I'm happy you achieved an A. You must have studied very hard. Or I appreciate you picking up the trash and made the place clean, help children understand and think about the positive results. Number 2. Your siblings look up to you. If you have several children, older siblings can become very jealous and act out their feelings against younger siblings who are getting more attention than them. Instead of telling them to stop misbehaving, a more effective method would be to applause the older siblings and emphasize their role in the family saying statements like, your younger brother or sister really respects you in a genuine way can give a feeling of responsibility and validation. Number 3. Although what you did make me angry, I still love you. But, how do you deal with bad behavior? Whether it's a temper tantrum, being disrespectful to teachers, or not doing chores, parents can be very upset or disappointed with the child's behavior. Some children don't understand the consequences of their behavior and might suffer eventually from the consequences and feel unhappy if their parents use harmful words such as, I'm ashamed of you or I'm disappointed in you. Instead by saying the phrase above you can apply a more loving approach by showing your concerns while still making them feel valuable. Number 4. Let's work on this together. Have your child ever faced a difficult task? How did you respond to it? When a child fails to get a task done, like tying a shoelace, it can be tempting as parents to do it for them. However, by doing this you're promoting a habit where they become highly dependent on you, and lack the confidence to do things by themselves. Not helping them isn't the correct thing to do either. Instead you can guide them by telling what they should do to allow them to accomplish their goal. Stay by their side and and work on the task together while allowing them to accomplish their goal with reasonable amount of effort so they feel proud of what they did. Number 5. Playtime's almost over, should I wait one minute or two? What do you say when you want your child to do something? Instead of just telling them what what you want them to do it may be more efficient and effective to let them choose between two options. This doesn't apply to just playtime but for other things as well, such as choosing to eat between two vegetables, or what time to go to the dentist. If a parent does the opposite and gives them commands such as by saying things like we're leaving now, or you have to finish everything before you get to play, they may bend up putting up a fight and refuse to give in to your wishes. Number 6. I'm listening. How does it feel when you're always talked over and lectured? For children or young adults lecturing them may not always come across as helpful or motivating. It could even lead to the opposite effect and worsen their mental health. Instead giving your child your attention and listening to what they have to say can nurture a healthier two-way street between you and your child. By lending an open ear you deepen your bond with them and boost your kid's self-esteem giving them the idea that their thoughts and ideas are important and valid. And number 7. Mind showing me how you did that? Have your child done something that they're really proud of? Whether they solve a Rubik's Cube, performed a cool magic trick, or planted some flowers in the garden, Showing encouragement and praise to your child helps improve their confidence and self-awareness. 
Even if the results weren't particularly impressive, praising them for their efforts can motivate them, get them the optimistic mindset that helps them taking future challenges, with esteem and confidence.